Ever since it was first announced, Life by You, the upcoming simulation game from Paradox, promised immersive building and gameplay all in an open world. However, there's one huge sticking point that has been highly criticized, how the developers are directly addressing it. But are these answers enough, or are they going to create more of a problem for Life by You? So apologies, I have been behind on both Life by You and Paralyzed News. I've been house hunting, which has been an utter disaster. But also, I did think this was super important to cover, because the other day, the Paralyzed team released a new trailer that discussed the art direction of the game. Now for me, gameplay is always way more important than graphics, but as I discussed in some previous videos, for some people it's make or break, and I think there are a few things they said in this video that are both really positive and also a little bit worrying. The director of marketing was joined by the art director who said that the art director has been there for over three years. Keep that in mind when we keep in mind how long simulation games take to make. But that aside, they talked a lot about the art style, their vision for the world, and I feel like there's several things that they were punching directly at Sims 4 for, and also clearly paving out who they're trying to target. This began with the mention of their overall art style direction. They said specifically that their art style was not specific at all, and they also though at the same time wanted to make sure it was not like other life simulation games, aka probably Sims, which we'll get back to in a moment. Overall, they wanted their art to recognize that there was an emphasis of flexibility with enough of a base that people could play with it. They wanted to mimic real world without, as they said, going into an uncanny, too realistic style, which we can also talk about later. Overall, they wanted a more mature art style for a more mature audience, shying away from cartoony and slapstick, as they said, and leaning towards more modern and moody lighting. As for the characters, they emphasize that the characters are going to be very custom with sliders. As for the world, they mentioned that it's going to be an open world upon launch, at least with early access. Of course, we know it's a beach town. It's sunny, bright, casual. There's going to be lots of areas to explore, and this part really did excite me because they mentioned the bridge, which would bridge off to other sections of the world, including the beach, vineyards, forests, and then, of course, a small town with businesses, boutiques, shops, and also places where NPCs were actively living. Now, when they talked about the most challenging aspects of designing the art for this game, he said, was making it feel dense versus making it playable. They did say they want to make it feel dense, but they're more concerned with functionality and gameplay, and they directly said that most other simulation games have lots of shells, which of course is a common critique within the Sims community. They said, above all, they want the world to feel lived in, and everything is going to be functional, and there's going to be absolutely no rabbit holes. But the last point really is something I think we need to talk about because they said overall their art style is seen as a canvas that's flexible and you can create anything with it. So <laughs> I feel like there's a lot to talk about here. Number one, I think that the emphasis on functionality and gameplay is absolutely awesome. I also like that they are trying to target a more mature audience. And that doesn't make it worse or better, it just means different. And I feel like it's really important for us to get more options in the life simulation genre. As I said in my previous video when I was comparing Paralyzed versus Life by You versus Sims, I feel like they all have pros and cons. Definitely check out that video because I had a lot of fun making it, but more importantly, I think it really showcases the differences between these games. Again, it's not necessarily saying one is better than the other, it's just that they are appealing to different audiences. However, even though they did address some of the common concerns, such as the lack of flexibility, too many rabbit holes, too much set dressing, too much shelves, etc., I do understand that this could be a breaking point for some people. Because even though they did say that the art is in early development, nothing in this video made me think they are changing directions in terms of overall art style, and I think for some people that might be a deal breaker. Now as for me, I think that the world looks really cool, and I really actually like it quite a bit, even as it is now. I gotta admit, the characters I still think could use a little bit of work. And when I say this, let me be clear many times because people sometimes misunderstand me. When I'm critiquing something, it isn't just about my personal gameplay. It's about thinking about the overall marketability of a game, the success of a game, 
game and things I've seen other people request. So while I personally am not super fond, to be honest, of how the characters look, it definitely would not stop me from playing Life by You, especially if it has really fantastic gameplay. But at the same time, I was hoping they were going to talk about potentially how they might change the character models in the future and maybe give them a little bit of more personality to the art style. Say what you will about Paralyze art style, some people do not like it and that's totally understandable, but I do think it feels distinct and you can easily recognize it. The same thing is true also for The Sims. Again, you can like it or dislike it, but I feel like The Sims also has a distinct style. And what I found really interesting about this video is they said they are specifically trying to make it so it doesn't have a specific art style. They want it to be flexible. And I will say it looks like customization is really awesome in this game, but at the same time, I feel like you can offer both flexibility and also add a little charm and charisma. I do think we need to consider both the pros and cons of this game. The fact is there is never going to be a perfect game and this game may not be for you or it may be for you. However, it does sound like even though they are focusing on some really good things in my opinion, such as the functionality and overall gameplay, I think we also need to recognize that the art style may not change as much as some had hoped. Of course, there still is time to give feedback and this isn't even in early access yet, so I always emphasize that graphics can change. At the same time, it does seem like the team is really focused on a less specific style, and personally, even though I love a lot of what they're doing, I do think they should maybe reconsider that strategy, as I think that part of the charm that first brings people to games, unfortunately, is that art style. It doesn't have to be a beautiful art style, but I do think it needs to feel a little bit more distinct. But let me know what all you think about this in the comments below. Again, as I have to emphasize many times, gameplay is very much more important to me personally, but I do have to consider other people's perspectives and the other perspectives presented outside of my channel. As always, take care and I will see you in the next one.